Hey guys, Lazy Bob here with another NASCAR The Game 2011 video. Getting ready for the Daytona 500. Tomorrow is the Gatorade Duels. I'm excited about it. And if any of you NASCAR fans saw the shootout this past Saturday night, you're probably just as excited as I am for the Daytona 500. Gone is the two car draft. We're back into the big pack of racing. And I have to tell you what a pain it's been for me to get a video for NASCAR before the 500. I have tried so many different times and have sat waiting so long for people to join that I finally got into a race and it just happens to be 11 people in this race. So it, I think this is probably the biggest race that I've been a part of and I'm, I'm just so pumped up for Sunday. It's going to be incredible. I've I don't understand. I don't know what it is with me in NASCAR. About about early, you know, about time to chase starts. I'm kind of like, oh god, NASCAR, we hurry up and end already. And then about mid January, I'm like, I need my NASCAR. I need my NASCAR. So I've been watching every single thing on Speed Channel on NASCAR.com. You know, trying to trying to find out everything I possibly can about the upcoming season. And back to the shootout on Saturday. I can't stand Kyle Busch. I hate him. I think I hate his brother Kurt a little more than Kyle. Um, but you have to give it to the kid when he when he <laughs> wins the shootout after being spun out twice. Um, you can kind of question maybe did Jeff Gordon spin him out on purpose? Um, I don't know, but you, you got to got to give him props on being able to come back and win the race after being spun twice and you know of course me being an Earnhardt fan uh, there was a there was a part of me that was root for Junior but um, it just wasn't meant to be now since the last video there's been another patch and I don't really know if it's fixed the problem with the net type because like I said I've been having problems getting to a game and are getting into a race, and I've kind of attributed that to the fact that maybe not as many people are online uh, now that the game is almost a year old. Um, and I think they're actually, I think I saw on Twitter where they're testing uh, the, ne the next game coming out this year, uh, uh, 2011. And look, look, look at that. 48 spin, trying to spin me out, knocking me into the wall. But this is actually the, the third race in a row. Oh, and, and look, I get drilled into the wall by Matt Kenseth's car. There's two of them in this race, I believe there is. Bastard. Oh, well. But um, what was I saying? I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, the changes with the car. Uh, let's see. There's the lower rear spoiler. Um... They've moved up the air intake for the radiator, and that helps get rid of the uh, the two-car draft a little bit. But um, I'm really hoping that the 500 is the wreck fest that the shootout was. It's like, you know, the the commentators and analysts, they, they don't like seeing the wrecks, but I like seeing the wrecks. And I think uh, Michael Walter posted on his Twitter that to fix his car, it would take 72 grand to fix his car from his wreck in the shootout. And finishing last place in the shootout only pays 15 grand, so they lost money. Yeah, but he, you know, right I guess that's a risk you take when you race in NASCAR. Here's the, there's always that risk of losing money in anything you do. But as you saw there, I, I got into the wall and I kind of fell back very far, and uh, thanks to the uh, a hole, that's actually his gamer tag. But thanks to the a hole that. Uh, was screwing around and caused another caution, caused a caution to come out, not another caution. Uh, it really helped me catch back up. So now all 11 of us are back into a full pack. Two of them, as you can probably see on the tracker, have already wrecked, gone back. This guy driving the 38 is trying to help me get to the front, but I can't hold my line. And oh, there, I just spun the four out. But we finally get past the 48. He was up front pretty much the entire race. And, and I noticed with the patch, it kind of fixed the bump drafting a little bit. Where before, it seemed like when you bump draft someone, it killed the speed for both drivers. 
Um, and wow, I, I, I'm still trying to figure out how he just spun out like that. But, oh well. But I c couldn't understand why it just seemed like whenever you would bump draft, you'd be going like 190, but when you actually make contact, all of a sudden you're going 180. And now it seems like we're actually fixes it where when you bump the guy ahead of you, it actually lurches him forward, or lurches, or launches, whatever. Puts him forward a little bit. But uh, look at me, taking the lead with two laps to go, and it's pretty much just a two-car race at this point, me and uh, this guy in the 38, but for some reason he's, he can't keep up with me, uh, even with the draft. And yet A-hole driving backwards and driving around that guy to avoid him. That was something they were talking about fixing. I think that was in one of the patches, but I don't think it ever really worked where guy driving around backwards will get booted. Um, I think that was supposed to be a part of the first patch that they actually end up making Xbox players pay for. They said it was some weird thing with uh, Microsoft where they had to charge for it. I don't get it. But one lap to go. Can I bring it back around in first place? There's actually uh, two cars really uh, catching up to us in the back. And now, of course, last lap the actual people in the race is dropping to seven. I don't understand that. It's like, you know, you wait so long to get into a race. Why not just stay and finish it? I mean, ooh, three-car battle for second place. Very nice. Previous years, um, I've gone to Daytona for a race, but I think I've gone every year to at least the February or July race for six years now? Five years? Five? I think it's five. Five years. And I, th I think this year I'm, I'm not going to go to a race this year. But anyway, finished first, started second. Go me. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoy the uh, Daytona 500, Gatorade Duels, uh, the truck race, nationwide race. It's going to be a good weekend for racing. Um, if uh, there any, if those races are anything like what the shootout was, it's, it's going to be a good weekend of races. So uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see. If you'd like some more NASCAR videos, I'll definitely work on doing that. But, in, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. Whatever.